All right, we just uh, arrived at our search location here. Um, already got the kayak out of the back of the truck. Um, where we are is um, just over to this side, over here, uh, is where Linda Roberts um, was living at the time of her disappearance. So or this pond is a half a mile away from her home, so where she was living at the time. So I'm just gonna get everything set up and we're gonna scan this pond, it's not very big. Where are you now? When my fears are worse than ever When the night goes on forever When I'm losing track of time Where are you now? When I need you more than ever When the night goes on forever Let me know just where you hide Where are you now? Alright, looks like we got everything set up, ready to go my screen here. I may, not, may, may need to make some adjustments, but you know, that's always the case. So, here we go. So, I'm seeing 10 foot deep. I'm not sure we should let the landowner know that the depth of this pond out here in the center 10 foot deep. Definitely deep enough to have a car. I know from experience, 6 foot deep is 10 years. Johnny Irwin's vehicle set in about six to seven foot of water for ten years. But if she was to come in here, coming straight down this hill would have been the way to do it. Not seeing anything just yet, but I've done several passes this way, so I'll go back up that direction. Uh, it is about ten foot deep in the center, is what I've seen. So. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's been here a while. There's kind of a little cove back here. I just want to get in just to make sure. You see right here, banks right there, banks right here, not very far. It's still seven foot deep right here. Oh, this is pretty clear, so. Of course, the only way to know for sure is to drain the ponds. We just don't do that. I'm taking my grid pattern the other way, I'm gone this way, and I'm gonna go this way just to make sure. But I'm pretty sure already I'm not seeing anything that would warrant even getting the magnet out. Go back this direction here and then I'm going to go back up into that little cove thingy right there and then we're going to call this good. I need to get in the habit of calling it checked not cleared because they're never truly clear not unless you drain them. As I know even as a scuba diver I've swam right by cars and missed it. There's a spider right there following my shot. That blurry thing is a spider. So five foot deep here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, thank the landowner who's just right over here. Of course, you know, that's one thing I really like about doing this is you get to meet so many interesting people and everybody's got a story. Um, and like this gentleman, I won't go into his because it was a, a very personal private story that he told me, but uh, for a short period of time, he was involved in law enforcement too, so you can only imagine what that story was. So, of course, I will scan on my way back across just to make sure. But uh, we're not seeing anything on sonar, so we will officially call this one checked off. There are some other ponds right here in the media area that we want to get looked at too. Um, hopefully, we'll get to some of those today. Sometimes looking for people is a marathon. It's not a sprint. So we'll just keep on coming back until there's no reason to come back anymore. Well, I don't see anything. That is a good thing. In a way, it's a bad thing. But, I mean, for you, the homeowner, uh, I'm glad you don't have to deal with that. <laughs> But uh, I'll get out of the water here and uh, 
get everything packed up and I'll uh, move to the next spot. Appreciate you letting me come in here. All right. So. Yep. I got a spider on my... Yeah, he's bait now. We've arrived at the next location we're searching here today. And we're actually at a lake. Now this is just north of where Linda was living at the time of her disappearance. So um, I got a hold of the landowners, got permission to be out here. Uh, one thing that they did inform me of is that this area here used to be the city dump. That being said, we're gonna scan. We're gonna be uh, pretty thorough on this one because, you know, there are gonna be a lot of things in the water that could possibly distract us. But hopefully, uh, we can find Linda's car, and hopefully that will lead us to finally know what happened to Linda Roberts. So, with that being said, I'm going to get uh, the old kayak and sonar equipment out. So, it's time to get back to work. Alright, I've done a couple passes here. Now I'm going to go down what looks like kind of like the main channel here, so that I'm scanning up the banks like this. So... Make sure uh, we're hitting, if there's something down there, make sure we're hitting it at the right angles so we can see everything clearly. Here we're hitting the deepest section, one of the deeper sections. Like all things, we just sit here back patiently, watch the screen, watch where we're going. Keep me straight line. See if there's anything at the bottom of this. I've done quite a bit of scudding already. And considering the fact that this used to be part of the dump, I'm surprised there isn't things in here. In fact, I was coming over and I was thinking to myself, I was like, I wouldn't be sorry if we don't find several cars in here. But, so far we're not seeing anything at all. But we're going to keep looking, keep scanning. So, this car's got to be somewhere. You know, part of the process is we uh, put eyes in the sky, we look and see what we can see from above. Can't see very far in the water, we get the radar or the sonar out, scan it that way. And uh, if there's something we can't rule out with the sonar, I should get in the water and do some scuba. So, that being said, Okay, um, I've gone through this lake pretty thoroughly. Um, it's it's a lot bigger than it looks. Or especially, it, it's always a lot bigger than it looks when you have to use one of these. Don't have anything motorized. Besides, uh, less moving parts, less can go wrong. But with that being said, um, I've scanned this. Take a look at... Uh, most of the, uh, this is the main part of it right here. Went back up inside of here. This is really narrow. Uh, it zigzagged through here because this was around 10 foot deep. But uh, really, after after all that, um, not seeing anything here. Of course, this is just, I mean, you could almost throw a rock from her home and hit this. Okay, you have to have a really good arm, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, so one of those places we just had to check off the list because it was a large body of water. It's actually a lot deeper than I expected it to be. We have checked this one. Uh, it has been not cleared, because I'm gonna try to quit saying that. It has been scanned. It has been checked. The only way to know for sure is to drain the water. Just can't drain the water everywhere we go. But the sonar doesn't show anything. Not to say that I didn't miss anything. That can happen. But with that being said, I'm going to get everything loaded up and get out of here. And uh, we'll get on down the road and we'll get back to work. Where are you now? When my fears are worse than ever.